Parents of a young student say their child is being bullied and the school is not doing enough to stop it. And that's why 10 on your side is getting involved. We sent Jason Marks to Jenkins Elementary in Newport News. What's going on here, Jason? Tom, imagine being scared to come to, of all places, school. That's exactly what's happening to a second grade girl here at Jenkins Elementary. Her dad says it breaks his heart to see this and he feels if school administrators aren't doing enough to help the little girl out. My child is in pain and she's holding her face and she's she's screaming, crying. Mm -hmm. And when I move her hand, I see welts. Any parent would be upset to see what Elizabeth Roche looked like after getting off the school bus last week. And you have to hit someone with so much force to break their skin. The second grader was hit on the way home from Jenkins Elementary in Newport News. Elizabeth's father says this isn't the first time his daughter has been bullied and he feels as if school administrators aren't helping to stop it. We're trusting that our children, when they're not in our care and they're in the care of the school um, administrators, that they're getting uh, the best possible education and that they're also going to be in a safe uh, learning environment that's going to be conducive toward their, their growth and their de uh, development. But uh, clearly in this case, my, my daughter's not protected. Michael Watson says his daughter has been picked on, punched, and had objects thrown at her, and it's been done by several students. The little girl doesn't even want to come back to school. She should be able to walk these streets as a free citizen, come to school um, and get her education without having the fear that somebody's going to assault me today. School officials say they're aware of the complaint and take every report of bullying seriously. They tell us in one of those cases, a student was disciplined. Watson did meet with school officials today, but once that meeting was done, he felt as if there would be no change. From the administrative standpoint, it seems as if they don't care. Now, school officials tell us last week's slapping incident, a first grader was responsible for that, and we're told that he is being punished. Now, there was some video on that school blast. We did ask to see it, and we were told that we could not have access to that video. I can tell you, as for Watson, he plans to take his little girl out of Jenkins and move her to another school next year. That's the latest here in Newport News. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.